Hi guys, welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. Um, thanks guys for all watching the watching the last one and obviously thanks for all of you who subscribed because I noticed the other day I was on 500 subscribers. So thanks very much, obviously it means a lot. Been doing it for just over a year and a half now and obviously I, obviously I always say I remember back to the first week when I did it, I think I had five uh, subscribers on YouTube and then I found out devastatingly three of them were the same person uh, but now there's 500 hopefully there's like <laughs> hopefully there's a few more people watching which is which is good and I appreciate it thanks um, but basically tonight which is pretty bloody lucky we've got another biker jacket so I've got this biker jacket this is one of my Christmas presents um, it's absolutely killer I have actually already featured this across my blog but I didn't get to sit down and do a YouTube about it um, you loved the last one I did, obviously, about my um, the black biker jacket I got from All Saints. Um, obviously, that's the one I bought pre-Christmas in the sale. Um, but since I was given a biker jacket as well for Christmas, I thought, why not feature it as well? So, obviously, you've hit like a double sort of biker jacket blog across on my actual website. And obviously, you've got uh, sort of another another biker jacket to have a look closer look at tonight on YouTube as well. So, I've got that. And just behind it, obviously, you'll see it when I pull it off. I got my first sale item the other day, it's quite a cool one I think it's actually what tonight's vlog is going to be about so if you missed my Drew Biker one obviously you can go and check that out, it'll be a couple of vlogs down or if you want to go across tonight you'll be able to see what I'm talking about so, kicking off obviously the last biker jacket I show you all was like a classic black biker and that's what I reckon, that's what I think everyone should have in the wardrobe, at least one of them I've got a few more than one but you can never have too many biker jackets um, for instance, this one. Um, but no, obviously the black one, everyone needs a cool black one. It's just like an effortless, really, really cool thing you can just throw on. It always looks good. It always looks like it's a timeless piece. And that's, I always said All Saints do some killer jackets. Anyway, luckily enough, I was given another one. And this one is the Jude Biker jacket. Obviously this is not black. It's not even leather. This is a suede. Um, but it's the same sort of cut. A few nice little details I want to sort of talk you through as well. Um, but it's a really, really cool jacket. As I said, I already featured this across my blog. Went down the beach, shot some really, really cool photographs. It was a nice sunny day, nice little walk along the beach. And I thought, why not, since I'm out, since I'm blowing the cobwebs, I think I've been in the house for like five days straight over Christmas. So I went down the beach, shot this, and it's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, it's a little bit different to my normal sort of biker jacket. So I've got a one sort of quite similar, but that was from like a few years ago from Zara. And it's like, you can't beat an All Saints one, so I thought, right. Get this. This is again. I think I did. T I think I did tell my parents when it was in the sale. So I think they got it then. They saved a little bit of money. But um, I think the All Saints sale is ended now, which is a bit of a nightmare, obviously for you guys watching this and if you do like this. Um, but I'm trying to think what it was down to. I think it was down to like 183, um, and it was probably originally like 250, maybe a little bit more. So 183 pounds got it, and I think they kept it for a while. So obviously I got it for Christmas. Really, really cool. Absolutely love it. I love this jacket because it's like, it's again like the black leather, but it's just a little bit different, so it's a little bit more casual, I'd say. It's not like your perfect, crisp biker, like, unbelievably cool. It's very casual, it's very cool. I wore it with a black t-shirt, but I was, I was saying like it would look nice with a white t-shirt. It's styled up with a white t-shirt. There's actually one really, really similar. Like, to be honest, you'd think it was the same jacket across on the Coopers. The Coopers have got their new sort of season, sort of slowly entering the website. And there's a jacket across there, and it literally, it looks exactly the same as this for £750. So this at 183 and if you think the Coopers one 750 it looks identically the same, is pretty much a bloody good bargain at the end of the day. Um, it's got silver zips, it's got a nice sort of little detail there with a little bit of the um, suede sort of tie um, on it, just obviously on the zip, just makes it a little more different, a little nice little detail there. Um, that's the only zip with that little tassel on. It zips from below, does it zip from below? Yeah, it zips from below and above. Um, I've, I actually have seen a couple of people when I used to work in All Saints, um, one of my pals there, he did used to wear his biker jackets unzipped the other way so you could see a little bit of white t-shirt, it did look pretty, pretty cool. Normally I just like to wear it in the standard way so literally just try it on, zip it all. I probably will give it a little try on at the end of this video. Um, but it's a really, really nice biker. It's got some like um, sort of a little bit of wear, like a little bit of detail, sort of wear to the collar, little other patches of the jacket, so it doesn't look like box fresh, it doesn't look brand new, it looks pretty cool, um, but I just love that sort of colour, the colour is probably the best bit about this jacket, so it's a really really nice like sort of tan brown leather jacket, um, 
nice couple of zips in the front there, hand warmer pockets, and one zip which I've never sort of seen on any of my back jackets. I've got probably like six or seven now in the wardrobe, um, but none of them have this little detail zip just there. It's sort of like if this zips all the way up and it flip, it, it, pardon me, I can't get my words out, and if it did flip round, you wouldn't be able to see that um, little zip at all. So it's like a little hidden zip really, but it's just a little chest zip, um, just for maybe your phone or something. It's quite big inside, but it's just a little detail I've never sort of seen on a leather jacket, which is a, or a suede jacket, which is pretty cool. But I do like it. Obviously, I always would say I'd keep the buttons like buttons, so I'd keep the collar panel open to your classic biker style. White t-shirt underneath, black t-shirt underneath. This looks really, really good. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to check in, obviously, throw it on YouTube, talk about it a little bit more. So this is the Judd Biker Jacket from All Saints. It's got a couple of nice inside pockets as well. So you've got a little bit of lining on the top there of the suede, it's just got a nice sort of brown cotton inside um, but you can see how I've sort of like dressed it up and styled it up across on my blog if you go back, um, I think it's probably about two weeks now you'll be able to find it so I'll have a little bit of a scroll, check it out but like maybe I wouldn't wear it with this black jumper underneath um, but it still looks pretty cool but as I say like I'd always try and find a biker jacket with these little presto buttons um, just so it opens it out, it sits nice and flush, it looks really really cool um, but yeah, like it's a really really nice one. Little bits like little details like this, I love sort of unzipping. I never like it tight. It just looks a little bit uncool. It looks like you've just got it on. It's just like right, I'm wearing this biker jacket. I love loosening the biker jacket up a little bit. It gives it a little bit more sort of uh, character. A little bit more. I don't know, sort of like, especially with me, because if I leave the zips open at the bottom there, you can sort of. I know I've only got the one bracelet on today. Well, one bracelet on the other side, pretty pretty empty, even little sort of details where you can see the black of the jumper and it just makes it a little bit cooler. I did, um, I, if I remember, I had, a white, I had a white shirt on when I shot this and I got the white shirt and I just sort of rolled the white shirt up um, and over the biker jacket sleeves and it just looks so much cooler, it just looks like you've thought about your outfit that little bit more, added a little detail and it looks really really cool. So as I say, like even if you don't like this biker jacket, this is just a tip for general biker jackets, I always undo the zips maybe roll something up, even sometimes just possibly on the one side just to make it look a little bit sort of rougher, a little bit sort of cooler, it looks good um, but yeah, really really like the Judd um, Biker Jack from All Saints, really really killer lovely material, lovely colour and it's just that little bit more casual so if I don't really want to do the whole classic black biker jacket, black skinny jeans, white top put this one on, bit of a change, it looks nice, also looks killer with black jeans obviously right this little guy, this is like a little added bonus to tonight's YouTube and this is what I'm featuring tonight on my blog I think, anyway, I'm not too sure but I think it'll probably be across there um, This is literally a, a, a sale item I picked up It looks really cool, you think alright where's it from, is it expensive, is it not expensive Like, to be honest if I saw this in the Coupals, if I saw it in even All Saints It's very very typically All Saints with that sort of grey, the black sort of uh, palette to it but it is from Zara and it is from the women's section but it's actually not even the women's section it's the what's it called is it TRA or it's got some little sort of little short thing I think it's basically a younger version of the women's section so they wanted to target more like younger people and they've come up with this little sort of range check it out online and hopefully there'll be a link obviously underneath in this YouTube and there'll be a link across my blog but with the biker jacket and sort of even just to wear as a nice little jumper because it's a it's a jumper sort of fleecy material, really soft, really cosy. But I just bought it for the print. It's twelve ninety nine Zara, which is an absolute bargain. Same print on the back. The only thing what put me off it when I was sort of like, what made me sort of like second guess it is just the sleeve length. The sleeve length is a little bit odd, um, but obviously when it's underneath the jacket, when it's just like a little jumper you've got one underneath, couple of chains out, it looks unbelievably cool and. I think I'm probably obviously if I want to show you guys on my blog, probably just going to roll the sleeves up a little bit as well because I reckon with the sleeves rolled up to like maybe like a normal t-shirt sort of length, I think it looks pretty cool. I know it's a little bit, I wouldn't really say it's feminine but this is it, it was quite hard to get size wise so normally I'm small and I got this in a small as well but it's just I wanted to get it in a medium because I thought it was quite short as well but the medium was more boxy so it goes out the more you jump up so if you get a medium it's it's sort of wider so I went with a small and to be honest it's absolutely killer really really fits uh, the sleeves are the only downside but for 12 99 and to wear underneath the biker jacket where I think it would look absolutely cool and it's just a really really nice cosy cool nice grey and black zebra print jumper it's pretty killer first little sale item bought 
and uh, I really, really like it. So this is tonight's blog, just a small one, just to show you what's out there and show you what's on the other side of them rather than just the male side, men's side, whatever. Because you can get some really, really cool bits if you factor into your outfit and it makes it makes an outfit and it looks like I've never seen anyone wear this, I've never seen any guys have it on. So it's just a little bit different. Obviously it's my style of sort of brought it across and sort of put it into what I normally wear every day. And to be honest it works. It looks really really cool. Twelve ninety nine. Boom. Um, but yeah that's pretty much it. So after talking about the drug biker and after talking about that little zebra print one, that's pretty much me wrapped up for another week on YouTube. A um, little bit about this year as well. So I did five days at work last year and it was like, at the end of the day I was thinking if it wasn't for my blog, which is how I got my job and how I'm basically in Manchester and like how loads of things have happened, like I sort of, I didn't really, I still did it last year and I really, really loved doing it but I wanted more time to spend on it, more time doing YouTube, more time to write the blogs, more time to sort of like get everything sorted so maybe I didn't miss a week or maybe if I didn't like miss two weeks. So I want to do this year, obviously I want to re focus my energy across my blog, across my YouTube, um, which is which is good. So hopefully there'll be a lot more sort of like every single week because I hate it. There was nothing worse than going like, oh, I've got a blog or I'm sort of halfway, I've got the photos but I've not written the post. And it's just like, I love doing a blog. I love writing about it. I love sort of taking the photographs. I love sharing my little outfit, sharing my little sort of just like little tips, little hints, little sort of like little bargains I've picked up, you know? Um, so this year, hopefully a few more posts, which will be good. Um, but yeah, a couple, obviously a little bits I want to talk to you in the future with like sort of what I want to do with that extra day, how I want to sort of spend it, what I'm going to do because I've got some sort of couple of killer things planned um, which hopefully you can support me as well. So yeah, thanks guys for listening to this YouTube. Check out my Bike It blog, two ones down. Check out that Zebra blog, should be on there tonight. And that's pretty much it. Cheers, thanks very much. See you in a bit.